morning. Uh, good evening. Um, we're going to start today's training right now. Uh, I'm going to introduce myself first before, before I proceed. So my name is Zefania Mwando. Currently, I'm a sales engineer for Dahua Technology Kenya, uh, uh, working in Nairobi at the moment at Dahua office in Westlands, Mitsumi Business Park. <coughs> so I'm going to take you through, through uh, smart traffic uh, solution. Uh, so stay tuned, uh, learn something then at the end of the session. Uh, if you have questions, uh, feel free to ask. So get ready for this. Um, I will start now. So for smart traffic solution, uh, we are trying to give the uh, the following before I finish, I'll be covering the vision of the solution looking at the challenge and what we're offering, then the design in terms of the elements, uh, the topology, uh, the technology applied. Then uh, later on, I'm going to introduce the solution business generally in the urban center and on highways. Uh, then finally finish up with some solution cases uh, that we have done. Of course, looking for business opportunity in our region uh, in the coming days. So, uh, looking at this, uh, we have more than 1.35 million, uh, like as per the challenge, more than 1.35 people, million people die from traffic accidents every year. So how can we come out of this? Uh, one of the ways is uh, improving efficiency in uh, resolving ch challenges that we face in the traffic uh, industry, uh, starting from traffic congestions, uh, traffic accidents, of course, then uh, how do we account for everything that's happening on our roads? So uh, it's a challenge when we don't have evidence, we don't have any analytical data uh, based on lack of, of data, then it's hard to investigate in case of conflict, then we don't have traffic control, uh, of course, so uh, how are we solving this? So the target is we want to introduce safe travel to reduce death and injury. Uh, we want to do smart upgrade, uh, bringing changes to uh, different business, then smooth traffic uh, to improve satisfaction. Then uh, we also want to create a system that is sustainable for the end user. So, um, for urban traffic management, we are looking at these highlights, intelligent upgrade, upgrade, convenient management, and of course, it has to be trip, uh, people oriented. That's why you have the four S uh, traffic solution, safe, smart, smooth, and sustainable. Of course, uh, the scenarios we are going to look at is traffic status monitoring, uh, violation enforcement. Of course, I'll explain what that is. Then we have signal control. We have quick response of incidents, uh, tolling operation, then parking guidance. Uh, so for the solution design, uh, this is just some elements that we'll have. Probably, probably uh, we would have urban roads, uh, we would have highways uh, in and out of cities, and then we have intersection scenes, uh, we have road sections, we have parking lots, we have tunnel roads, we have toll stations. Uh, the type of uh, traffic we are monitoring is the vehicles, of course, uh, conventional vehicles and special vehicles like trucks and trailers. Then we have two wheelers, motorcycles, scooters, and bicycles, and of course, the pedestrians. So we have to do a coordinated management of the same to make sure that uh, traffic management is actually uh, not a pain, instead it's a strong point. Uh, then uh, the topology of this solution, uh, I'm going to explain these massive uh, details uh, in a nutshell. Uh, so we start from the application level. Uh, this is where we are doing now things like status monitoring, where we check the flow of traffic, uh, offenses and incidents that come up. Then we check for violations. 
uh, so tickets, auditing and punishment, then uh, violations, of course. Then we have signal coordination control. So we create a like adaptive traffic signal control. We have pedestrians and vehicles passing. Then we have VIP routes. Then quick res response of incidents. So we use our VMS linkage uh, on Cyber City. And then uh, we have incident task. Uh, we also have tolling operations. So I uh, have tolling options, vehicle cl classification, uh, then control station for the tolls. Of course, we have parking operation for parking spaces, parking guidance, and of course, uh, checking for emissions that come. So these are the application layer. This is the highest uh, level. Then we come to the aggregation, <clears throat> where we're looking at some security on the platform. Starting from that aggregation, we have user authentication, we have device management, event management, we have network cascade, multiple domain disaster recovery, then we have real time structured uh, alarms, then we have video for business, and then also we must record this and do live playback. Of course, we also introduce an open platform uh, that is video capable. So we do media access, we do media forwarding and transcoding, then we do unstructured storage, uh, that is video storage and object storage. Then we have big data service and data resources. So we cache this data, we generate that uh, database graphs and uh, media graph. Then we also do text search. Then we do we provide also AI intelligent servers for incident and vehicle uh, identification. Then we have the access uh, layer uh, that is the end devices. Uh, of course, they are intelligent. That's why we have IoT, IoT access as a highlight. So here we have, of course, monitoring, video monitoring for panoramic and PTZ. Then we have traffic violation detection using enforcement cameras. We have radars and speedometers. Then we have incident uh, management using the intelligent servers and, of course, edge storage devices. Then we have traffic data collection uh, by the endpoints. Then we have traffic signal control. So we provide the traffic lights and the traffic signal controllers. Well, of course, then we have uh, release uh, guidance. So this is just um, information release, like advertisement or display on the screens on the rules to follow uh, based on the current condition. Then we have parking detection. We have barriers and automatic number plate recognition. Uh, then we look at the final part, the sense we apply this like on intersections, uh, road sections, of course, highway ramps, uh, gen the general highway in a traffic hub, then when we have tunnels and also public parking. So this is giving you the general overview of where we apply which products at which level and how we are going to access it at the application layer. Then the design topology and multiple traffic information sensing. So we have video. So look at this uh, this uh, clip here, our image rather. Uh, it's showing us statistics on uh, multiple dimension data. So it's capturing a lot of data at, at the same time. Then we need some light compensation, of course, uh, to make sure the image is good. Then uh, we can also use some thermal cameras, uh, which de detect different temperature differences. Uh, then uh, we can apply this, especially in an environment where lighting is not that good. Uh, we also have rapid fire detection. Uh, so for fire detection, in the incidences of fire, the uh, thermal camera can send us trigger or warning alarm that there is fire so that we respond to it. Then we have radar, which is not affected by light. So this is just a detector, which can detect multiple targets and track them. Uh, also, the detection distance is long. So we can link our radars with cameras, of course. Then we have video and laser. Uh, where we use uh, lesser to do precision detection of the vehicles. We don't need additional lighting because the laser itself uh, can work standalone. Then it helps us to implement law enforcement by the vehicle type. Although currently video and laser is currently available at our HQ, we're looking towards maybe applying it in future in our market. Then, uh, the other violation is um, red light viol violation, of course, illegal lane change, 
uh, legal turning left uh, or right or going around, of course, wrong way and stopping at stop line. So if you violate these offenses, then we can trigger alarms. Uh, at a road section, uh, we check things like speeding, using phones, illegal lane change, driving on the wrong way, occupying bus lane, if you have a bus lane, of course, then occupying an, the emergency lane in places where we have emergency lane. Of course, uh, section speeding. Uh, then we have the properties we would capture from vehicles. Uh, number one, we've used the plate number, uh, the color of the vehicle, the brand of the vehicle, of course, and the type of the vehicle. Then we have uh, for two wheelers, motorcycles, uh, we capture the plate. Uh, we capture things like uh, if the uh, cyclists are not wearing helmet, if we have more than one person or more than two people on the motorcycle, on one motorcycle, uh, if you are driving on the wrong way, then we use NPR and vehicle attributes, uh, also driver behaviors, and we use one, one device. So this is an AI enforcement unit where we have a violation detector, a traffic enforcement camera, a spotter series high level camera, then uh, of course, speed, speed measuring uh, system. So we can apply this to make sure that we get the correct recognition. Then we have multiple incident detection. Incidents like traffic jam, traffic flow, occupying the wrong lane, speeding or under speeding, over speeding and under speeding, of course. Then driving on the wrong way. Uh, if you're changing lanes illegally where you're not allowed, if there is smoke, uh, if there's illegal parking, uh, if we have pedestrians crossing where they're not allowed to cross, uh, then also when we have poor visibility, we send alarm so that uh, we keep checking. Then when we have accidents, we can check. If there's construction, uh, we detect. If there's a roadblock, we also detect and control traffic lights. Of course, if you have the continuous yellow line, you don't, you're not allowed to cross. So if you cross, we check that also as a violation. And look at the products we are using. Uh, the independent work uh, uh, design uh, PTZ. So it just does automatic detection. Then we have the edge box, uh, which is connected to the camera for edge de deployment and it enables AI processing, all, of course. Then at the central server, we have the server and camera, at the convergence center, of course, which is equipped with high level algorithms to do this multiple incident uh, detection. Then of course, this data we capture, we do, it keeps growing every day. So we must process this data. That's why the concept of big data comes in. Uh, we store our data, uh, data in, in a database for parking records. We have violation records, incident records. Uh, then inside storage, we also capture videos and images of, uh, general recording, of course, for violations and incidents. Uh, generally, our solution would match the current trend in uh, data, uh, which keeps growing every day. Then uh, we look at uh, the solution businesses. Uh, where can we apply this? Uh, we have in the urban area, we check the status uh, for NPR. Uh, we capture NPR data information. We compare it with the, what we have in the vehicle database. So if it's a wanted vehicle, if a vehicle has high emission and all others, we can trigger a real-time alarm or violation, uh, we can search. Then if you have restriction rules, we can also check if the vehicles are not violating or are violating, then we generate the violation records. Then we have augmented reality vision. So we can create a virtual image of the general center on a virtual map, then uh, display. Uh, sorry, sorry, uh, well, give me one second. Okay, 
Uh, so we have traffic aug augmented reality module uh, where we, we generate using the 360 degrees panoramic cameras. Then we have high point monitoring. Of course, we have that visual appeal. And then we give you a uh, humanized interaction so that in the event of incidents, the different uh, areas will have flashlights popping up on the map. Of course, we'll also have small snips of the live. So we have that continuous uh, panoramic view. Then we have uh, violation enforcement. Uh, so we, we check like if vehicle speeding, we trigger alarm. If the driver is not wearing the safety belt, we also driver and also passengers, of course, we trigger alarms. Or we can also look this. We can check for uh, if you're using the phone while driving. Uh, if you're changing the lane illegally, then we can track that vehicle that has changed the lane and will definitely uh, have a video on the same. Then we have red light violation. So if you cross a uh, stop line, uh, then we get a notification, uh, we are able to track this. Then if you don't obey direction signs, of course you're going to track it. Uh, if you make an illegal U-turn where U-turn is not allowed, we track that. Uh, then we have pedestrian priority where pedestrians uh, are allowed to cross. We have you must give them priority or it's captured as a violation. If you do illegal parking, of course, it will also be captured uh, there. Then uh, we have violation adjudication. So how do we enact on this information? When there's an incident uh, of the violations, uh, we can have mobile police patrol uh, who receive this information on their mobile devices. So we audit, we check violation, we generate a ticket for you. Uh, then if you're in the block list, we receive an, an alarm. Uh, of course, we dispatch someone. So it's something like uh, at the command center, there's an alarm. This person was cited maybe doing uh, an accident was, is, has been created. So this person has parked illegally, we must send someone to respond. So that's why we come, we receive the alarm, then confirm and dispatch uh, someone. Then we have traffic signal control. Of course, this is now the cameras learning. Uh, this lane has this number of vehicles which have been there for this time. This lane does not have. So we send signals and triggers the traffic signal controller to open this lane and close the other lane based on how busy the highway is. So we can apply such, uh, such solutions, of course. Uh, then we have signal coordination control. Uh, so uh, with the traffic signals, we check like the camera lens, there is some pedestrians who want to cross. So it will turn on the uh, light, then allow uh, pedestrians to cross. Uh, of course, we've applied this in Egypt. Uh, so that we also make sure that pedestrians are also covered. They are allowed to cross when it's time, and also they are not uh, put there standing for a very long time. Then, uh, of course, uh, for the signal coordination control, we have a project that we have achieved in Egypt, where we use our WizMind cameras uh, to do violation check. Then we have a parking operation. So we have on street parking where we indicate the available parking slots using the parking uh, outdoor parking spot detector. Then we do parking space guidance where we display like, if you go to this parking area, we have this number of parking slots, this area and all that. Then we have off street parking, of course. This is inside uh, where we manage, like if you're coming to this parking lot, so let's say you are going to not gallery parking, parking area, we have 179. When you get the entrance, you know, on the ground floor, level one, level two, we have how many parking spaces. And then inside, there's guidance directing. If you go straight, uh, you'll get 583 parking spaces. If you go right, you'll get maybe this number of parking spaces. So we do this to make sure that um, there's a continuous. Uh, we can also unify this and put it on our mobile application so that if you are a driver and you are looking to park, you can find the most convenient parking uh, at your phone, and then you just go direct to, to park. 
Then uh, quick response of incidents. So we have 24 seven monitoring and analyzing road status. If there is an event, we do event processing. So an event happens, we trigger a pop-up alarm. Then the events that we capture, uh, we send the response based on the type of events. For example, if there is debris on the road, we send the maintenance team. <coughs> If, if there is illegal parking or traffic violations, the different violations, then uh, we send traffic police. If there's fire alarm or smoke alarm, we send fire control. So we know who to send so that we just don't randomly send and waste our time and effort on uh, by sending the wrong people, of course. Then uh, an improvement of this, it will help us reduce risk by analyzing the old events. Then which areas are hot, we see what can we do to improve. Uh, so this is a typical kind of a setting where on this road there is debris detected by this camera it will send this notice to IVS that is intelligent video server then uh, of course if there is parking detection or pedestrian crossing it will help to send signal and then we can respond uh, so we have such a kind of a response then we have quick response of incidents, things like tra traffic congestion display. Uh, so we check like this, a map. On the map, you can see uh, there. Then we have traffic suggestions like severe weather, take extra care. We, you might have maybe this road is closed ahead. So we can digitally send this information to the signage and then uh, you are warned. Then violation message. So we have a display that this vehicle plate number is speeding, is speeding, so please slow down. Uh, of course, speed measurement, so we capture speed uh, based on the vehicles that are crossing. We show number plate and speed. Uh, this will help us prevent, so this preventive uh, uh, way. So instead of going to where there's congestion, you choose another alternative route. Uh, if you know there's severe weather on this side, maybe you can choose to go another time or change the route. Of course, if you are speeding, you want to slow down. And then uh, you keep, you are like on the no. So if you are communicating on the road, you are safe. So for this information release, we can do it, of course, on periodic level. Uh, we can do it instantly. We can also do it using linkage. So linkage is when maybe we capture your speed and then we send a trigger to release information. Then we have uh, at the highway, we have tolling operation. So when vehicles are coming in, uh, we do the identification. Uh, of course, uh, we prevent theft of license plates and there's an account charge system that is integrated. Then uh, we monitor like the vehicles, uh, like here we check the number of axles and wheels. Uh, we check the vehicle type and try to decide is this a truck? Is this a bus? And all that. Uh, we charge according to also the vehicle model. Then we have dimension detection. So we can also capture the dimensions of this vehicle. So that if it's longer than the set height, then we trigger a warning that you cannot cross this area. Probably when we have this bridge, then it makes it hard for this vehicle to cross. Then we have uh, weight measurement uh, of vehicles, so we can do that. Uh, of course, set charging penalty rules based on weight and also avoid, avoid damaging uh, of the roads. Then, uh, of course, we have a business highway tolling operation. So here we check like uh, uh, as vehicles are coming in, the operations we are carrying out. We detect a vehicle, we, you pay, then the barriers open and all that. So vehicles must stop. So if uh, we have that, then we do information release, of course, uh, with the use of Dahua barriers to control. Uh, we can also apply bollard so that if vehicles coming to hit the barrier, there's bollard to stop it uh, and all that. Then we look at some uh, cases we've had for this solution. We have had uh Saudi Arabic traffic flow project. Uh, the overview of this project is 
as just an advanced traffic management system based on AI, big data, and cloud computing technology to improve city traffic in Saudi Arabia. So the traffic data on the intersections uh, is kept through the way AI cameras. Then we send signal to the traffic signal controller at each intersection, and then we optimize. So this will keep learning, and then we can apply. Then we have unlock uh, the highlights. So we unlock the NEMA, NEMA standard from zero, perfectly integration NEMA standard traffic signal controller. Uh, of course, uh, supporting the built-in ecosystem. And then we have extreme accuracy of traffic data. So the data we capture here uh, is accurate. Then we have front in intelligence providing multidimensional multidimensional traffic data. Then we have uh, in Central Asia traffic enforcement project starting from 2020, we've built smart traffic management project in a country uh, in Central Asia, covering seven states, 17 cities, and nearly 300 intersections. We have built six major business systems. Uh, the highlights for this is an e-police, traffic information collection, legal parking detection, speeding capture, cloud storage and cloud computing system. Dahua worked this customer developed standard of evidence for traffic violations. Uh, so we capture these violations and provide them as evidence, of course. Then in Brazil, we have the Brazil Highway Project, uh, where we launched more than a thousand cameras with 600 NPR cameras. Uh, we provide uh, one petabyte cloud storage and a cloud database supporting 2 billion data capacity. So uh, we have integrated dynamic weighing system uh, from third party partners, of course, who don't have a weighing system for vehicles. And also uh, generally what we've integrated with it to provide capture of tax evasion vehicles. Then the highlight is customer efficiency has been improved. Uh, we have accuracy of traffic data that we capture on the different sites. Then we have vehicle big data management. That is, uh, we capture more and save uh, based on different uh, scenarios. So that brings me to the end of this presentation. Uh, so I allow, allow, allow you to ask questions if you have if you have any so that uh you can respond to them so just unmute i've changed the rule so you can unmute and ask questions uh if you have anything else if you want a summary of this training just drop your email in the comment section and i will send to you after this session so if you have any question just unmute and ask kindly Did you ask a question? I can't hear anyone asking, so uh, I'm at the end of this training. Anyone? Anyone? Okay, so I'll share the presentation to those who have dropped their emails. In case you need, you can feel free to contact me and I will provide more information. And if you have project uh, requirements, you can also share with me and I can help you come up with a complete solution for that. So that is the end of our traffic uh, solution. Thank you, thank you for your time. So this brings us to the end of the training. So thank you. Uh, feel free to exit at your own convenience.
You know, sir, are you still there? Yes, yes, still there. Uh, I have never received any email on uh, any document from your side. Uh, you yes, you drop uh, you always email. drop uh, your email in the chat. Yes, I do. I do. You see, we have different trainers covering uh, different topics. For those uh, who've been in my trainings, mm -hmm. I always share. So if you leave your email in the chat, I always share. But uh, unfortunately. Uh, for other trainers, maybe they might not have sent. So, in case of in that case, uh, I can find you the material that you need. Just uh, text me. I'll, I'll send you my number. Then text my WhatsApp Please, and I'll, I'll send you copies of this. Yes, I've sent. I've sent the number. Okay. All right. No, 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 no. Just, just take my number. I've sent you in the chat. So just take it and uh, contact me. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you for Have attending nice. today's training. Have a nice evening. You too. Oh, see, I got come fifteen hundred.